Hello, hello, Aquarius, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to see what messages come through for you. Where are you in life, love, and money? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forward. Okay. Wow, you got exactly three. Okay, we're going to be looking at these. Um, <clears throat> Aquarius, you begin the reading with the Eight of Swords. Oh, I just lost my candle. Give me a minute. <laughs> Welcome back while I turned on your candle. Um, I didn't want to do the reading without one. Uh, you have here, okay, so you begin the reading with the Eight of Swords. Okay, um, feeling trapped in your own space. Okay, this is somebody who feels as they are bound to somebody, restricted to somebody. You know, and this is self-inflicted. It's not even like, you know, you feel like you can't get out. The thing is that with the Eight of Swords, you have to take full responsibility for being in this space. You also have here the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so for some of you, there's a shift of change that will be coming in for you. Um, for some of you, yeah, there's going to be a shift, you know, um, something that's going to transform you from this um, prison that you are in. You also have here, this is a brand new cycle that's coming in, okay, because uh, the old cycle is done. Um, you also have here the five of pentacles. Somebody here will be left out in the cold, okay? Somebody here will be left out with money struggles, whatever the case is. If somebody was taking care of you, you were taking care of someone, somebody here is struggling for cash, okay? Um, why is the eight of swords here? Please, universal energy, spirit guides, ancestors. Why is the eight of swords here? Okay, hold up, because you got... I don't know if it's one or two. Oh, you got two. I couldn't pick it up. Okay, so you got two of them on the floor. Oh, shoot. Five of Swords, Five of Swords and the Eight of Cups. This is having a migraine, okay? This is walking away from a situation that potentially no longer serves you. This has gotten to be emotionally heavy and it seems like for some of you, this person did not help you carry these cups. Why? Because listen, they were stuck somewhere else, occupying their time with someone else while you were carrying the headaches, coming home to the fucking arguments, okay? Because usually when there is somebody stuck in the middle of a relationship, because you have here five of swords and five of pentacles, you know, which tell me that this was a third party, the only thing that you are getting back in return is nothing but a fucking migraine, okay? Third parties do not work. They are not honored by the universe, okay? However, for some of you, listen, if you were ripped away from this situation after you became um, bounded and you were like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And now all of a sudden you freed yourself and you're going on your merry way. And, you know, don't take this headache with you, okay? The sun is here for you. The sun will shine for you. This is, for me, recovery, feeling free, growing up, stepping forward, rising up. Why is the wheel of fortune here? Too many. Why is the wheel of fortune here for Aquarius? Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Why is it here? Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. The Tower. 
Okay, so something fell apart in your mix, in your path. Um, it looks like you were in the middle of a tower moment with another person. Usually when a tower comes in, it is um, a, an opportunity to start over from scratch. Whatever came to fall apart was extremely unstable. And, you know, there was two or three people blasting out of this tower because usually when you have three people in a space that's supposed to be for two, things end up falling apart. You tend to build a faulty foundation. A You tend to build a lie. You tend to build something that is not real. And eventually the universe says, I'm going to remove you from your, Im I, I, I swear, I, I heard image, okay? Imagery um, from your dream, okay? Whatever, if some of you are dreaming from this, from, you know, for this, um, you know, the tower is here. It is here to swipe everything out of your way so that you can start brand new. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Why? It's a tower here. Why? It's the tower here. Okay. This is way too many. <sighs> Just one. <laughs> Why is the top? Okay. We got to turn over. Hello. We got to turn over. Justice. Somebody here has been treated unfairly, okay? Karma is coming in to balance those scales. Some of you will balance these scales off in um, a legal court, okay? Because this is also a legal court. Some of you may have a legal situation on your hands about something that fell apart, something that fell through. Why is the five of pentacles here five of pentacles why is it here queen of cups and king of swords okay so i kind of get the feeling that there are two people here the queen of cups somebody intuitive somebody loving and caring and then you have the king of swords somebody who is um, not really too happy with, with the situation, not really too content. So there's somebody here that is not happy. Somebody feels like they have been left out in the cold. You know, for some reason, I, I'm going to tell you something. I feel that for some of you, if you were in a situation where you were loving and caring and you finally found your freedom to get away from this person and you are now, you know, inside your own space, meditating, um, praying and looking up to the universe and trying to seek some answers with the Queen of Cups. I can't help but feel that this person that treated you unfairly with the King of Swords, because let me tell you, he's bitter, not a happy person. I can't help but feel that you are leaving this person out in the cold. Okay. I hope that this was able to give you some kind of clarity and thank you so much for being here. Take care.